Go away. You're looking at a very interesting and unusual invention for tractors from the Dutch company Pecan. The system with a pair of additional wheels allows the tractor to easily transition between working and transport positions without any problems. In the working position, the wheels are lowered and in the transport position, they're lifted and folded behind the cab like the wings of an insect. The developers claim that their connection plates ensure proper tire alignment when transitioning to the working mode. And it only takes 20 to 30 seconds to switch to transport mode. You may have already guessed the purpose of this system. The manufacturer wanted to have a dual wheel vehicle and comply with traffic laws at the same time. You have to admit such a bulky tractor would take up too much space on the roads and therefore wouldn't fit in many places, not to mention that it would be illegal. However, this system ensures that the tractor is not too wide and therefore would not pose any danger on the road. With the Gullwing system, farmers can now get the best of everything, stability when working in the fields, and a compact size to move efficiently between them. Big Float If you thought that construction only happens on land, you should check out the Big Float. It's a unique amphibious excavator that can work both on land and water, the optimal solution for any construction or repair work. The Big Float is equipped with a special system which ensures its stability in the water when performing a wide range of tasks such as dredging, excavating, or removing debris. The excavator also has a high level of mobility and maneuverability, so it can get to hard-to-reach places where conventional equipment gets stuck or can't boast a good performance. At the same time, the operator's cabin is fully enclosed and equipped with air conditioning, which ensures comfortable and safe working conditions. The developer prioritizes environmental sustainability and claims that the big float exerts low pressure on the ground and has zero emissions. This makes the excavator perfect not only for the construction industry, but also for the cleanup of lakes, rivers, and other bodies of water. The excavator comes in different sizes and models and can be equipped with an attachment for a specific task. Wham V this unusual vessel looks like a giant water strider. It was developed by Marine Advanced Robotics in San Francisco, it's mainly used for scientific purposes, in particular for data collection. Though it's capable of more than that, the modular design of the WAM-V allows customization. In other words, the WAM-V can meet the requirements of any project, be it commercial, scientific, or defense. The WAM-V can reach speeds between 7 and 23 miles per hour depending on the model. At the same time, the suspension technology provides unsurpassed stability and performance even in the most difficult sea conditions. The WAM-V is highly mobile, designed to collapse by 70% when folded, and can then be placed in a container for easy transportation around the world. It's interesting that a prototype of this vehicle existed back in 2007. It was named after the ancient Greek sea god Proteus. However, it was more often referred to as spider ship or spider boat. At the time, it was the first vessel of its kind with four legs that used titanium shock absorbers to propel it over the waves. Its two skis move almost independently of each other, which provides high speed and low drag. The boat has a top speed of 34 miles per hour and a range of 5,000 miles. Despite weighing more than 10 tons, the spider boat can be safely placed on shore, even along with 2,400 gallons of diesel fuel. Scania Siemens Truck The truck, which looks like a trolley bus, is a perfect example of how an innovative partnership between two industry leaders, Scania and Siemens, can help address global issues. Both companies realize that freight delivery by rail has significant limitations, which is why a share of the cargo will be delivered by trucks in one way or another, and this results in a significant impact on the environment. This truck, along with the e-highway system, was created to reduce emissions. The truck is powered by an electric motor and runs on renewable energy. The electricity is provided by a specially designed contact line. According to the developers, this system is twice as efficient as conventional combustion engines. The unusual vehicle, together with the e-highway system, has attracted the attention of German authorities. In August 2017, Siemens Mobility was commissioned by the state to build a contact line for electric trucks on a six-mile stretch of Autobahn. Thanks to a successful field trial, the e-highway system began to be tested on various public highways in Germany. 
In March 2018, the Research and Development Center of Keough University awarded another contract for the construction of the Three Mile Line. And in June 2021, the third e-highway line was completed on the Federal Highway between Kuppenheim and Gaggenau. Lizard Car This one looks like it belongs in the Transformers film series. This powerful off-road vehicle has an articulate suspension that allows it to crawl and drive over almost any terrain, including extremely rough mountain surfaces. The creator of this vehicle, Cameron Carlson, wanted to make something like this for a long time, however, he started working on the vehicle only when he became seriously sick. A brush with death inspired Cameron to create the car of his dreams. The vehicle can be transformed by changing the position of its wheels with simple swing arms. For example, you can lift the rear wheels 47 inches into the air. Or raise one front wheel more than 79 inches while the others remain on the ground. The special suspension allows 0 to 40 inches of clearance under the car. The ability to raise and lower the wheels and suspension at will allows the vehicle to overcome some pretty steep obstacles, though the creator of the vehicle required years of operating heavy equipment in order to feel comfortable with all the levers in the cockpit. There's also a more modern off-roader concept with similar functionality, Meet the Huntress, an electric SUV that combines, according to its creators, the agility of a big feline with the power of a pickup truck. Independent suspension on each wheel allows easy steering, and the electric motor provides peak power without overheating. But what really sets this vehicle apart is the headlights that superimpose each other. It's a feature that's both functional and eye-catching. In low visibility, the upper headlight can rotate to reveal a set of additional lighting elements. Mercure The design of this vehicle is exceptionally practical. The rescue vehicle was created to evacuate victims of tunnel fires. The invention addresses two serious issues that happen during tunnel emergencies. First, the lack of oxygen in the area hit by the fire, and second, limited maneuverability in narrow spaces. Mercure can move in two directions and is also equipped with a dual drive system. That is, the vehicle can work even if one of the two engines fails. When the cabin is activated on one side, the cabin on the other side is automatically switched off. In addition, all traffic lighting also changes depending on the direction of travel. This way, the driver doesn't have to worry about what's going on in the other cab or what position the steering wheel was left over there. Regardless of this, when the cab is switched off, the steering wheel is set to the center position and its axle is locked. Mercure is also equipped with a high-pressure air storage unit. The compressed air supply system can be switched on automatically or manually. This feature provides up to four hours of battery life. Up to 12 people can be rescued with the Mercure. There are eight seats and four standing places inside. Each of them is equipped with a rescue hood with an oxygen mask, which is connected to the car's air supply. It's logical that if someone's rescued from a fire in a tunnel, then someone else is supposed to put out the fire. That's why there are Mercure-like fire trucks built to work in narrow spaces. A famous example is the Man by Janus 4000 Befronte, which was created after the fire in the Mont Blanc Tunnel in 1999. Eric's Road Rail Vehicles German engineers have always been famous for their incredibly complex and sophisticated designs. This time, they managed to assemble a unique system designed to save people in the most difficult conditions. Eric's road rail vehicles are specialized vehicles designed to work on both roads and railways. They can do that thanks to the use of rail wheels that can be lowered and raised. Two fire and rescue trains are based at the exits of the Furka Base Tunnel in Switzerland. They don't operate with classic locomotives, but with specialized ones. The first one is used as a fire truck, followed by an ambulance, and finally the last one acts as a pressurized container to evacuate 30 people. In the event of a fire in the tunnel, the first train can stay at the scene and fight the flames, while the second one moves the ambulance and the evacuated people to an open, safe area. The train runs with hydraulic motors. The tunnel rescue setup can reach speeds of up to 31 miles per hour. The firefighting train has 1,300 gallons of firefighting water on board. The entire fire and rescue train can be operated by a single driver using a joystick from each of the three additional steering compartments. Next to the first steering compartment is a ramp that makes it easier for firefighters to get out, fight the fire, and rescue people.
Tactical Intervention Vehicle. This vehicle was designed for law enforcement officers and the military. The armored vehicle is equipped with a vertical assault ramp tested by special units in many countries around the world. It's suitable for missions such as storming buildings, airplanes, buses, rail vehicles, overcoming fences, or as positions for snipers. This vehicle boasts a 330 horsepower diesel engine. The primary focus of this vehicle development was to provide optimal protection for the people inside. The armored body of the vehicle is capable of withstanding rifle shots and an explosion equal in power to two hand grenades. Inside the vehicle, the driver and crew have access to modern communication equipment, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. The vehicle can accommodate up to 10 people. Since the special operations vehicle is made to order, it's versatile and capable of carrying a wide range of tactical equipment. For example, it can be equipped with a battering ram, hydraulic tools for entering a room, as well as night vision goggles and gas masks. X3 What do people imagine the future to be like? Most sci-fi films give a clear answer to this question. The world of the future will certainly be full of flying cars. Xpeng, a Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer, recently unveiled its new electric VTOL vehicle, the X3. The car is designed for both flying in the air and driving on the roads. X3 weighs about 2 tons and is powered by 8 electric motors, each of which is attached to an 11.5-foot diameter propeller. The X3 is also equipped with a propeller fold-away system for a seamless transition between driving and flying and a dual-engine backup system to ensure safety. So far, there's no information about the flight range or top speed. The vehicle is a prototype and is currently going through various tests to ensure flight safety. Though the company says that the final design will not be very different from the current model. X3 can provide people with environmentally friendly transportation in a congested urban environment. The company plans to work with local governments and aviation regulators to develop infrastructure and regulations for air taxis. Frog 3600 Building on the idea of barrier-free loading, the German company Pigatech demonstrated its approach to this problem. This is a Frog 3600, a modified Fiat truck whose rear axle can be lifted hydraulically. What are the benefits of this solution? First of all, it allows loading on surfaces that require careful handling, for example on construction sites where tiles have just been laid. In addition, this design is quite simple and doesn't take too much effort to maintain. The disadvantages of this modification include a relatively small ground clearance and the need for wheels of a certain diameter. RCP-75 Here's another piece of equipment that's changed the way trucks are loaded and unloaded. It's essentially a hydraulic lift mounted on the bed of a truck, and depending on the model, it's capable of lifting up to 8 tons of load, which can save a significant amount of efforts and labor. One of the key advantages of the lift is its versatility. It can be used to handle various cargo. In addition, RCP-75 is designed for use in a wide variety of environments, including construction sites, warehouses, and loading docks. Despite this, it's worth noting the design of the lift is quite sophisticated, so it should only be maintained by experts assigned by the manufacturer. STV Jazz the Italian company Pavelli is a family business that designs the most incredible trailers for trucks. STV Series has a special place in their lineup. These are trailers designed to transport cars and other vehicles. Not so long ago, the company introduced a new model, STV Jazz. With the help of a sliding mechanism, it can increase its length and also has a revolutionary mechanism for tilting the rear axle. The engineering solution is ingenious in terms of simplicity and convenience. Powered by a hydraulic mechanism, the rear wheel axle is lowered or tilted to the side, allowing unhindered loading from ground level. Although this design is not universal due to low ground clearance, the trailer can prove useful for the most sophisticated and unique projects. Overall, this product fully supports the company's principle, a particular attention to the most specific requests of the customers. T-1000 
TDR250. Another amazing example of a vehicle designed for highly specialized tasks is the light vineyard tractor from the French company GRV. TDR250 tractor is a unique solution for efficient grape harvesting. The vehicle uses a combination of several systems to gently pick the grapes from the vine without damaging them. The grapes are then placed in a bucket and transported to a tank for further processing. One of the key advantages of this tractor is its efficiency. It can cover a large area with minimal effort because it only needs one person to operate it. In addition, the tractor can be operated in a variety of areas where grapes grow, including steep slopes and uneven ground. TDR250 is designed for easy use. It features a user-friendly interface that allows the operator to adjust settings and monitor performance in real time.